What's up, guys? It's Mike Spitz, a.k.a. Mr. Throwback. You're here in my shop in the East Village, and we've been open almost 10 years. This store is just like my childhood bedroom, and I always wanted to be involved in some capacity with it. Um, so I still have starting lineups, posters everywhere, jerseys. And when I came home from college in 2005, I found an original Sean Kemp jersey. I tried it on, I was like, where can I find more of this? And then it started, estate sales, garage sales, eBay, everything, you name it, I wanted it. Mr. Throwback started back in 2012 in the East Village, and I stumbled across the street, uh, 428 East 9th Street, and I met this lady named Mary. And I told her I literally had $6,000 to my name, and she said, you know what, give me $5,700 up front, the store's yours for uh, three years and then two years extension, and I set up. And uh, I was there for five years. This store right now that I'm currently in was vacant, and I jumped across the street, and I've been here almost five years, and I love it here. Alphabet City has, you know, some neighborhoody kind of things. We have Tompkins Square Park, which is awesome. Really cool vibe around here. A lot of young families are here and young people are here. And this is a great location for Mr. Throwback. Is everything legit in my shop? Yes. One of my childhood favorites. I'll go with a crowd pleaser. Penny. Anthony Penny Hardaway. Gorgeous. This is from 1996. This is an original champion NBA jersey. Big Nick fan. Everybody knows him. Latrell Sprewell. Here's another great player, number 23, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. I'm a big Space Jam fan. On the ceiling here, we have an original 1996 Space Jam 20 foot sign right off of McDonald's. This is the original Monstars jersey. Champion only made it in 1996. So we also sell awesome jackets from the 90s. These are some of my favorite pieces. It's called a Chalkline Fanimation jacket from 92. We made this for big Friends fans. We got Joey rocking a lot of Nick stuff. Rachel, the classic champion sweatshirt here, New York City Friends. Kevin Bright, the creator of the show, came in with his son and actually bought the item and then wore it on the reunion show, which was pretty cool. And I think the greatest thing, what would happen if Jennifer Aniston walks in the shop and goes, let me get that shirt and she puts it on. Another cool thing in our store is we have an original gumball machine from Blockbuster Video. And actually each color of the gumball represents a different discount in our shop, which is really cool. Wonder what color I'll get today. Blue, baby. 15% off. Just like 1988, tops gone. Favorite part about this business is seeing a lot of familiar faces come back here. And I always say, if you have a great experience at Mr. Throwback, you're gonna tell the world. But if you have a bad experience at Mr. Throwback, you're gonna tell the world. So why not have a great experience here? That's actually our Nickelodeon phone. Um, it does still work. Nickelodeon. Dude, that was f***ing awesome. <laughs> Welcome no. back to MSGPM presented by 7-Eleven. Oh. 7-Eleven, let's take it to 11. Pardon me while I pick my jaw up off the floor. Ooh. Cass here, Alex Monaco. And we are joined by Mike, Mr. Throwback Spitz. Incredible piece right here. But more importantly, I mean, I, we're rocking some of your finest. It's incredible. Finest merchandise. Absolutely. You gotta, we got we to gotta deck you out in the best gear possible. Now, Mike, I know if, if you don't recognize why I'm sitting like this, this is an <laughs> actual Wayne Gretzky autographed jersey, and I'm doing everything I can <laughs> to make sure nothing gets smudged <laughs> or wrinkled or anything, man. So uh, tell me, how does, how do, how does a, a, a business like this do business? Like, do you find these clothes? Like, do you find people who want to I in? mean, Do you hunt? Like, how's it go? We do it all. Yeah. Honestly, it's a buy, trade, sell store. People can walk in with 
you know, bags in their hand and say, do you buy? And I'm like, of course we buy. Yeah. Show me what you got. It's basically like a treasure right in my store, which is awesome. And then I go travel other states and stuff and find awesome jerseys and T-shirts and whatnot. Um, it's pretty amazing. I, I'm, a, I'm a throwback fiend, so sorry. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just drooling over this. Alex, you go ahead, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot out. of cool ways you land your merchandise. Any particular unique ways that you have landed all this merchandise over the years? Um, just going, to, you know, starting at like flea markets, estate yeah, yeah. sales, stuff like that, going online, obviously. But now it's funner now. You know, a lot of people are in this space, so I can go to events that I go to every month, and I'm buying constantly only sports stuff. We only focus in 80s and 90s sportswear, so that's what we have here. Now, Mr. Throwback, I saw a lot of very familiar pieces in that piece we just put out, but you have a holy grail. Yeah, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my holy grail. It's oh. a Patrick Ewing game use. The gold logo is from 1996, <laughs> mm. 97. It's actually signed by him, which is awesome, and he wore size 48 plus 6. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That is, that is, and it uh, fits oh. perfectly. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's no. nice. It looks good on you, man. Let me tell you. I look good. I'm ready to uh, suit up. It looks fantastic, man. And, and what about these right here? Like these Sure. So we, we sell our own merchandise. Uh, we are big friends and Seinfeld fans, and obviously we're in New York, so we got to specialize in Knicks and Yankees merch. Um, we have the original... Jennifer Aniston, Knicks champion sweatshirt right here in front of us. Take this right now. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, That's the Elliot. <laughs> we sold this actually when we first opened in 2012 for 150 bucks. And then I was like, you know what? Light bulb went off. Let me put her on a shirt. And then we sold 25 in about a couple minutes. And then haven't looked back. I've been selling her for 10 years. Um, the creator of the show, Kevin Bright, walked into our store. And he actually bought the T-shirt, and he wore it on the Rio, the Rio. La, 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 sorry, the reunion show. <laughs> we edited all that out. My bad. I That's guess. all good. All right. All blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm real. I'm real. I'm honest. <laughs> you know, we we're obviously rocking some cool jerseys. I know you got a, a dope story behind this one right here. Yeah. So uh, right here in front of us is an Anthony Bonner game used jersey. He played for the Knicks '93, '94. He came into my store uh, one weekend, and I was happened to be. Uh, going to ask my wife to marry me, and he gave me some pointers on how to do it. And then I had the jersey in the shop at the time, which was pretty wild, and he signed the jersey for me, which is pretty sweet. Now, we Aww. saw in the piece uh, Jennifer Aniston walking into your show, uh, walking into your shop. No, she uh, never came uh, in the show. Not to the show. No, no, no. <laughs> we would, that would be, like, the biggest thing if Jennifer – what we would love to do is get Jennifer Aniston in the – in the t-shirt, gotcha. rocking the t-shirt. Gotcha. Okay, so so tell me, uh, how, uh, I know celebrities oh, love yeah. this type of stuff. Do you have any favorites oh, that yeah. have come into the store? Oh, yeah, big time. Uh, Fabulous is probably one of my main ones. Shout out Fab. Fab yeah. is, uh, mm. I love Fab. Um, we've had, uh, let's see, uh, Scarlett Johansson came in the oh, shop wow. before. Jeremy Lin's been in the shop. Um, Andrew Velasquez played for the Yankees, yeah. Bronx boy, love him. Now he's on the Angels. So cool. So just, uh, oh, Jared Jacks, also one of my favorites. Uh, I have a good story with him. I don't know if we have time for that. Oh, we got plenty of time. To okay, go. good, no, great, no, great. Don't let us know when we wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Katie will be, be on our ears when it's time to wrap. No yeah. doubt, yeah. So, uh, so Jared Jack went to uh, Georgia Tech where Marbury went, and um, he asked me, to get him a Marbury jersey. I'm like, you're asking me, can't you just pull the, pull the school up and be like, yo, I need a Marbury jersey? He's like, you need to find it for me. I was like, all right, no problem. A couple weeks later, he uh, tears his ACL. I think uh, he was on the Nets at the time. Yeah. And then someone walked in and sold me a Marbury actual jersey from Georgia Tech. Called him right up and said, guess what? I got your jersey. He's like, cool. Got you four tickets to the Knicks-Nets game, which has been that was awesome. And then when he got traded to the Knicks, he called me up. I was in Wildwood, New Jersey, on the boardwalk. I got a phone call from Jared Jack. And he's like, guess what? I'm coming to the Knicks. I was like, whoa. Man, that was awesome. an awesome thing for me. Yeah. It's incre this is yeah. incredible how your love of vintage gear has just brought you just uh, incredible, incredible success and stories, man. Mike, Mr. Throwback Spitz, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. MSGPM.